Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is a static VLAN and a dynamic VLAN. A static VLAN is a port-based VLAN. This type of VLAN requires manual assignment of individual ports on a switch to a virtual network. Once ports are assigned, they are always associated with their pre-assigned VLANs. Let's look at this example. We assign ports 1, 2, 3, and 4 to a VLAN for the sales department. We assign ports 5, 6, and 7 to a VLAN for the finance department. And we assign ports 8 and 9 to the IT department. Static VLAN has nothing to do with devices. When we plug one device into port 1, for example, the device will be on the sales VLAN. And when we plug the same device into port 9, the device will become a member of IT VLAN. Dynamic VLAN is different. We define dynamic VLAN based on the device instead of a port location. Dynamic VLAN is usually MAC-based, which means we define VLAN membership according to device MAC address. But we can define VLAN membership based on the IP address of a device if we wanted to. Dynamic VLAN requires a central server called VLAN Member Policy Server or simply VMPS Server. The server contains the database MAC addresses along with their associated VLANs. In this example, we just use AA, BB, or CC to represent MAC addresses just for the sake of learning. We all know an actual MAC address is a 48-bit long hexadecimal number. When a computer with MAC address AA is plugged into port 1, port 1 will communicate with the server and check against the database for its membership. In a database, computer AA is pre-assigned to VLAN 10. Suppose computer AA is plugged into port 5, the result would be the same. Port 5 will communicate with the server and find the pre-assigned VLAN to computer AA. Thus, changing port location does not change a device VLAN membership. The same process applies to both computer DD and computer CC in this example. We can say dynamic VLAN has two advantages at least compared with static VLAN. 1. Flexibility With dynamic VLAN, we can control devices on a central server instead of configuring each individual port of all switches. For a large organization, dynamic VLAN could simplify the network management. 2. Security With dynamic VLAN, each device connected to a switch is checked against the server database for its membership. Therefore, no random device could be able to plug into switch and get access to the network. In summary, Static VLAN requires manual assignment to ports to a VLAN. Dynamic VLAN is based on some characteristics of devices, normally MAC address. For static VLAN, one port only belongs to one VLAN, but for dynamic VLAN, one port can be a member of multiple VLANs. Dynamic VLAN is flexible, but more complex and many administrators still prefer static VLANs. Many people may ask, what's the default VLAN and what's the native VLAN? Well, these two concepts are related to AO2.1Q and trunking, which I will talk about next time. I hope this video is helpful. If you want to learn network systematically, please check out my playlists. They are organized by topics. Thank you very much and see you next time. <music>